Hi guys, this is Namushek and from past few tutorials I am working on a video tutorial series of developing employee management system portal. In my last video, I completed the functionality of displaying breadcrumb um, on my uh, web pages or my portal and in this um, video I will try to finish off this video tutorial series by just uh, completing the functionality of deleting the employees either one or multiple employees at one time okay so to, that, to do that we just have to go to our dashboard view and here we need to look for the delete button okay here is the delete button we need to create a function with the name of delete employee inside our employee controller function yes. okay. and save it and now we need to we need to do one on click event for this let's create an input of type submit okay and value as delete and class as btm btm danger and we use an on click event and return confirm box asking for confirmation saying that are you sure mm. and now let us delete this and here we need to let's wait let's create a form here let's please equal for open and the form will get closed after this USB close and pass this copy and paste it here and now remove it and let's refresh the page now ok let's delete ok it's asking are you sure ok now just cancel it and now we need to come here for a checkbox here here we need to give a value value of dollar result of user id okay we need to set a user id for each and every checkbox and name user id we need to send the uh, send the user ids in the form of array name we will be suppose if the user has selected the multiple check boxes if the user has checked multiple check boxes then the values inside those check boxes will get passed uh, the values or the user ids inside those check boxes will get passed inside this array with the help of this field okay now let's just refresh ok dashboard 64 unexpected comma ok trying to get property from object
efficient of the list. Okay, now if I if I inspect on this checkboxes, then this checkboxes will be given one ID. See, you can see the value of this checkbox is two. That is the uh, user ID of that employee. And if I inspect the second, and this is the value equals to three. That is the user ID of that employee. So what I have done is I have given or I have set the user ID for that employee to that checkbox. And whenever I click or check any of the uh, any of the checkbox or multiple checkboxes then the user ids or the employee ids from those checkboxes will get passed inside this user id array and with the help of this variable the all the values as a one each, uh, one employee user id or multiple user ids multiple employees user id will get sent to our employee here inside this function Okay, now let us write this load model there is so we need to create that model now to delete the record so delete function delete we need to We need to pass the user ID here. Okay. And this DB delete from users where the user ID is. and I want to delete the detail of the employee from the personal table also personal information tables personal details copy and also from the contact details also from qualification details okay whenever uh, an admin deletes an employee uh, from their dashboard all the information um, either from personal contact and qualification or um, all the information from these three tables will get deleted uh, along with the users table and contact and empty qualifications okay now Let's come to our employee here. We need to call that uh, model function. Copy this. This query is and paste it here. Okay. for each loop for each dollar underscore post of user id as dollar user id stretch it out and paste it here and then return to or redirect to dashboard ok now let us check it once ok here we have created a form and in form we have given a path whenever we click a delete button we should redirect to delete employee 
function inside the employee controller asking for the confirmation okay once the once we send uh, the control to delete employee inside the employee controller it will come here and it will call the appropriate model okay it will in, inside the model it will delete the uh, delete the selected records when um, when the user or when the admin uh, selected the check either one or two uh, check boxes for the multiple check boxes the value that is been stored inside the check boxes that is the employee id of that employee will get stored inside this array and that array will get sent with the help of this field name name to our employee here here and the and uh, we call this query uh, our model function and with this function we will be deleting the record so now let's just check whether we are correct or not let's check these two text boxes so these two employees and delete ok ok HRMS EMP qualification doesn't exist in the qualifications okay these two Amit and Suzy okay two records are now deleted you can see where our functionality is working perfectly fine now we have successfully deleted our record now if I try to delete one uh, okay see that record or employee will get deleted and now we need to check in our Qualification tables. Okay, now we don't have any record. And let's check personal details. We have only two records, two employees because we have here also we have only two records for our personal. And let's contact details. We have only two because we have only two employees here. And let's see users. We have three users because we are having three uh, users including admin. Okay, so now we have complete. We have successfully completed all our functionalities um, of this employee management system portal. We have started with our login module. Okay, Let's log out. Okay, we started from this, and and we built a login. Um, perfect login system and then we set session uh, and we work on session handling and then we started to create employees once we done with the creating of employees then we move on displaying views from um, displaying the employees uh, that are how they have been that have been registered in our portal and then we uh, try to display all our employees on our dashboard and once we display all the employees in our dashboard we went for building a search functionality for our portal and um, once the search functionality is get over we build um, and then we uh, completed the pagination and after pagination we went for for building individual employee the functionalities like personal details contact details and qualification details yeah and then we move on uh, breadcrumb and once we over with the breadcrumbs and then we uh, uh, finally we completed the functionality of deleting an employee okay this complete tutorial is very lengthy guys it has taken a lot of time for each and every video to complete um, most of the videos are above half uh, above half an hour of duration so uh, it takes a lot of time to build this application because it contains lots and lots of important features or functionalities that are that are related to php mvc framework and html css bootstrap framework okay so i would suggest you guys don't miss any of the uh, steps or any of the video because each and every uh, step in each and every video is 
is equally important where if you if you lose any of the video you will uh, it means you have lost in middle so uh, just follow where uh, from the very beginning from the first video till the end if you see or if you watch all the videos of this series i'm sure i'm 100 percent sure that you will get a lot of information a lot of useful information on php mvc framework coordinator and bootstrap where if you did this project in your place then i'm sure you can create any of the product any any of the project you can work individual uh, you can work on individual projects you can take uh, projects from your clients and you can start working on building uh, any project on php mvc framework code igniter and html css booster framework okay i hope you enjoy this uh, video and this complete uh, video tutorial series of building employee management system okay uh, if you like this video or this series subscribe to my channel so that you will be updated with my latest upcoming videos um, and, and uh, that's all guys i will see you in my next video tutorial series where i'll be coming with the new topic or will i'll be coming with a new project to build on okay see you soon guys